Hi there, I'm John from CNCRI.com and today I'm going to show you how I designed and fabricated this custom tlightbox.com side holder. About a year ago I launched the website tlightbox.com that essentially sells tlight box sides like this here and what you do is you put four of them together and you end up with a tea light box. So it's a very simple concept. I thought that everybody would understand it right off the bat and I'd be a millionaire. Uh, what happened is that nobody understands the website or how it works. They don't understand that four sides make a box. Now you might say, well that's pretty obvious and so did I. Over the last year the sales have definitely not been where they should have been, in, at least in my opinion. And so what I decided to do was actually go to trade shows with it and find out what the problem is. Now the first trade show I went to, um, I had all of these things laid flat on the table because I thought, you know, people would see that and they would see this and they put two and two together and realize that, again, this is how you make tea light boxes. Everybody thought it was coasters. And I would show them this and I'd show them the four sides coming together and I'd show them this and then the light in their head would, you know, turn on finally and they go, oh, that's a great idea. Now I know what, what you're selling. You're selling tea light box sides. I said, yeah, great. Okay. So I took that knowledge back from the first trade show and decided to design and fabricate this. The purpose of this here is to have the tea light box sides raised. And if you notice here, maybe it's a little bit hard to see on the camera, but I actually have an LED candle here. And then I have this in front so you can see that you know technically speaking this is what it would look like if it was put together here now the advantage with cncri.com which is the parent company of tlightbox.com is to custom fabricate uh, design through fabrication uh, custom whatever you need so for me it was pretty straightforward to start off by designing this here myself and this is actually version two the first version that I had was more like a a straight box with a bunch of slots in it and I realized after I did the 3D uh, modeling for it that it would just be too dark and too boring because basically it's just a, a, a shelving unit that's on a, on a slight angle. I thought this would be a lot more dramatic and more interesting to look at which would bring people to the booth to realize that tea light boxes are made this way. telling yourself wow that's a lot of work to make a 3d model of something that you're going to fabricate anyways and then actually fabricate it why not just fabricate it right off the bat and that's something that a lot of people don't realize is that you end up wasting a dramatic amount of material it's just astounding you know if you're anything is off a little bit here when we use our laser to cut it off that piece is pretty much worthless so by making a 3d model of what you're going to cut this is essentially the first time I cut this out and everything fit perfectly. Well, if I would have gone back and forth cutting it, doing a test, test fit, back forth, back forth, it would take a lot more time to do it and the results would definitely not be as clean as they are here and I would have wasted a lot of time and money on, on materials and just, it just makes no sense to me to actually fabricate something right off the bat instead of making a 3D model if it's required for something a little bit more complex like this. Now the model itself, Let's just get this off out of the way. Might be hard to believe, but there's actually nothing holding this together. The only thing I have in the back here is I put a couple of nails just to make sure this back doesn't fall off. But everything else for this model here is friction fit. The wood itself and the interlocking is what holds the whole thing together and it holds it incredibly solidly. If you want to take this apart you actually need to use a hammer because what happens is you have this, the sides like this here then you have something coming in that locks it into place. Then you have another another bottom here 
then another part that locks it in place. And it locks it all the way up until this, which is technically something I can't really lock into place. The sides are held together by this and this. So it's actually a pretty cool design. I spent 10 years custom designing uh, essentially kids toys to be interlocking so they don't necessarily need to use glue. And I used the same approach to design this thing here. So I went to the next trade show. I had my tea lights in the back here. I had all of my sides here. And guess what? People still thought I was selling coasters. So I said, well, you know, this doesn't make any sense. So I started putting a whole bunch of tea lights together all around it. And that's essentially why I made a lot of space here. Cause I thought originally I should put a couple of tea lights here and people will again, will put two and two together and realize that this makes this. But that still didn't happen. So just to fast forward, I've got a version three that I'm working on that hopefully finally turns the tide towards people realizing how this business model actually works. So when I used the laser to cut this out, it was very precise. You could, that's why you see the burn marks here. If I use my CNC router to cut it out, which I could have quite easily, um, you would not have the, bar, the dark marks here. And to me, the darkness is what creates the contrast, which makes something more interesting. So I could have done it with my router, then I would have had to paint the edges, or I do it with the laser, and it's essentially free contrast. Another option was to use the water jet to cut this out. And the problem I have with water jet and wood is not actually the water, although that is an issue. The biggest issue I have is the sand. Because if, if you realize with water jet, you have high pressure water shooting down on the material, and that in itself does not cut the material. What cuts the material is the abrasive, or the garnet, or I call it sand. So the sand with the water is what cuts through. The problem is that sand gets absolutely everywhere. And then you try to paint and it's just a, it's just a big pain.
You might be asking yourself, why do I put myself through all this trouble to try to find how to work something like this here? And I actually like having little side businesses here and there at cncri.com. And the reason for that is it helps me relate better to the customer. I do a lot of stuff wholesale and for customers who make their items that go to trade shows. And for me to have some of that knowledge and experience actually going to trade shows myself with my own product, I could very much relate to some of the issues that they have and actually design some of those lessons right into the product. One of the biggest drawbacks of this thing here is this. These tea lights you can buy at the dollar store, they're basically 50 cents each and they work great. What I found out is on, this, on the packaging they say these things last a thousand hours and to be honest with you they last about two days. So if you look at it here, there's, I think, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So there's 25 tea light sides that I can put here if I didn't put a whole box. That means I need 25 of these, which costs me about 12 bucks. So I'm going to spend 12 bucks every two days just to fill this thing up with tea lights. And they go out at any time. And as soon as they go out, you notice here that the shadows just create a problem because now again you're back to that issue where people think I'm selling coasters. So my next design would not even use these things at all. And I think that's the most exciting part of running a business is that you find out new ways of doing things that actually make more sense. So your iterations with the design of something, every step is a lot better than the previous uh, design. Something I also spent a lot of time with is with other vendors at the trade show to find out what was wrong with this business model. And they gave me some really good hints as to what I should be doing, what I'm doing wrong. And I've also started to incorporate that within the whole presentation just for tlightbox.com uh, for trade shows. So the next step for me is actually go to trade show and see how all of those lessons have come together to actually create you know, a business and then apply all of those business, business ideas to the actual website too because I want tlightbox.com to be a website, not me, you know, tra traveling around uh, North America with a whole bunch of tea light box sites. That, that, that doesn't make sense to me. What I really prefer is having businesses that basically I could stay in the shop and work and the orders come in through the email and through the website. It doesn't need me to physically be there uh, to do the projects. And cncri.com, I'd say about 95% of our customers, I never actually meet face to face. Everything is online. And this business here is perfect for online. It just needs to be tweaked a bit uh, to make more sense for people. this video informative as to why I do things here in a specific way at cncri.com. Custom fabrication is a lot of fun. I love doing it. If I didn't have customer semi projects, I'd just make my own stuff anyways. So it's great to have that option where I get to deal with, you know, huge manufacturing companies, you know, fortune 50 companies. But at the same time, I also do stuff for, you know, mom and pop shops. And it's a great interaction of knowledge that happens between all of my customers and myself. So having this kind of experience here, even if I don't end up going to a bunch of trade shows with it, after I developed the model, I learned a lot about the whole business of that that I can apply towards you know, custom fabrication for businesses other than myself. So if you're looking for custom fabrication, nearly design through fabrication and finished product, contact me at cncri.com and we'll make it for you. <laughs>